Everybody check it out. Check, 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 check. check. Have you tried to love? He's alright. Have you tried to love? Yes, sir. All right. We're doing it again. Say that again, everything is that. Still on the way.
believe it. Right. Say it's on the way. On the way. Right. I don't know about you, Pastor Cooper, but there are some things that I really do need God to do. Come on, yeah. Man. Like the day before yesterday. Yeah. I didn't tell anybody, but a few people. Quisha, forgive me, because you're one of the closest friends I got at work, but yesterday was one of my toughest days. And it started after that fire drill they gave us at 7.45 in the morning. They was good when we had a normal meeting that morning. But did not know the struggle it would be to get through to 3.35. I don't know about you. Maybe you never had a bad day at work. Just let me talk about mine. Jackie, I knew that I had to sing all this weekend. Knew that I had to preach in a couple of weeks. Knew that we getting ready for float. And normally, Bernard, what I tell y'all as we're preparing for float is that all hell is going to break loose between December and January. And it seems like it always hits everybody except me. But what do you do when what you prophesy happens to you? See, I'm not a prosperity prophet. I don't claim myself to be a prophet at all. I just know that when he speaks, he answers. So, I found myself being tested on your song. Try to do right. Quartet singers, third. It's good to sing and it feel mighty good. Yep, yep. When the bass is licking, the lead is chucking, yeah. the drummer's really locking it up real good. But the yeah. truth of the matter is, all hell breaks loose yeah. every now and then. Yeah. We may look good, we may yeah. sound good. I mean, I've lost 35 pounds. I thought I was on my way to heaven. <laughs> Blood should have been regulated and everything. Blood pressure medicine. I can push that to the side now. But it seemed like when everything was going good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Something happened. And I'm just, I, I don't have a sad story to tell you. All I'm telling you is that life is real after the quartet is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I said life is real after the quartet is over. Yeah. I mean, we can, we can sing. We can dance, we can shout. Yeah. I mean, we can go to Waffle House. It's over. I just prophesied as the Lord is going to bless Brian. The Waffle House. Yeah. Stephen should have waved his hand right there. Yeah. But it just really gets real. Yeah. But I encountered somebody that watches me every day at work. Wow, yeah. And they knew what had transpired. And they said, I haven't seen you do anything differently than you would have done. She said, that's how I know what you do is for real. I didn't do that to boost myself up, but it helped me to keep doing right when somebody recognized that I had done right. I said, it helped me to keep doing right when somebody recognized I called one of my good friends and I told them some things that had transpired and they said well why didn't you cuss them out I said that's not my character they said well why didn't you tear something up I said that's not my character I work in a behavior classroom but most of the stuff I have to teach them I gotta use it first (laughs) they talked about coping strategies the only thing that I did differently than I would have normally done is I stepped into somebody else's office and prayed. They just so happened to be going to a doctor's appointment, so I went in there and prayed for myself and their doctor's appointment. Life has its challenges, but God is my champion. Life has its challenges, but God is my champion. How do I know that? Because he said his word that we are more than conquerors. Conquerors overcome one thing, but champions, you ain't trying to help me. I said, champions conquer it all. I'm not the champion, but I got somebody living in me. Yes, Lord. It wasn't my first time going through, but it was the anniversary of some trials and tribulations that I had once had. This year made 10 years that I lost the man that raised me. Deacon John Henry Williams. 
It made just a few years that I had buried the woman that raised me, my grandmother. The dates kind of sound a little familiar to me. November 10th, November 30th, December 7th, December 5th. All of that is significant to me. And so I wasn't depressed. I said, God, I feel real good in this season this time. Not knowing that on December 10th, wow. yeah. I would hit another challenge. Yeah. I said, man, if, if they had called me 10 years ago, yeah. when I had somebody that would have bailed me out of jail. Yeah. 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 Some of y'all said he used to pastor this church. I know it. Come on. But I still would have made some bad decisions. Yeah. But I challenged myself, not only before my group, not only before my community, not before my church, but for my own self. That's right, that's right. Because after all this is over and I close my eyes for the last time and my tongue is glued to the roof of my mouth, I want to be able for St. Peter to easily say, Your name is on the list. My former pastor would say it's going to be some mess at the gate because some people that thought that they was on the list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Bible says that the righteous going to do what? Scarcely. Scarcely. Yeah, yeah. That's the word. That's the word. And if I don't make it but by the skin of my teeth, yeah. I'm determined yeah. to make it. So I'm going to bring Philip so he can sing his song. I ain't got no sad story to tell you. What I can tell you is that the Lord kept me yeah. because I wanted to be kept. Yeah. Yeah. You did the right thing there. If you had a little bit of doubt, it would have been all right with me. I said, the Lord kept me. Yeah. When I wanted to be 